check, check. All right, cool. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to I Create Stories. I'm Samuel. Uh, I am the creator of several titles, but most notably known for, I guess, um, is Disney in My Toilet. So today I just want to go over the uh, first issue of Disney in My Toilet. As you can see, here's the collected edition, uh, the trade paperback, which is in black and white. Uh, but here's the first issue, which was in color. Um, so the first issue is called First Flush, in mean, my toilet, no pun intended. So before I flip through the page, the origin of duty and Disney in my toilet came from a time back many years ago where we were at a convention and there was a newspaper that was looking for content for the newspaper, comic strips. And they wanted a sci-fi humor type comic strip. So, you know, we were presented with the challenge. I was driving through the Lincoln Tunnel. I was going through the Lincoln Tunnel anyway. And uh, between New York and New Jersey. And uh, it hit me. Boom. I knew what it was. So I met the guys at an IHOP. And we went for breakfast. And I told them. There are some nail in my toilet and that was the beginning of duty and uh, they were looking at me like I was crazy I said, yes and his name is duty and he's from the planet Uranus and they just thought I was out of control and I grabbed the um, placement mat at IHOP and I started drawing on it and that was the beginning of duty and looking back there was definitely influences when it came to sci-fi and just extraterrestrial and UFOs and uh, other life forms. Uh, as a kid, I was always fascinated with science and I was always looking up at the stars. I remember sitting on their garage roof with my uncle, Daniel, and uh, we would just stare at the stars and he would, be, he would point out what star we were looking at and tell me exactly what it was and the distance it was from the planet. Uh, and it was just fascinating and he introduced me to MUFON and an organization that uh, investigates uh, unidentified um, sightings and objects and uh, reporting. So I, I have all this collection of magazines and newspaper articles and clips um, with regards to UFOs. And I remember in college I did a paper on UFOs and I was I was going to college in the evening and working during the day full time So it was probably around seven eight o'clock at night as I'm presenting my paper to the class and you know you have to get up in front and do a whole presentation and I scared the living bejesus out of everybody because I also presented the newspaper clipping from the LA Times when back many years ago where it was called the battle over uh, Los Angeles battle in the sky and it was a time when the U.S. thought we were being threatened or being attacked by either Russia or China. They didn't know. And there was an unidentified object over L.A. And they just started, the military just started shooting at the sky and just unleashed hell in the sky. And nothing was hit. And the only thing that came down were the shell casings from um, the, the military. You can actually look it up. So... Obviously, there's those influences, and then 80s cartoons, you know, Saturday morning cartoons, uh, Hanna Barbera, Garfield, Heathcliff, um, Scooby Doo, uh, Tom and Jerry, all those comedic cartoons uh, with the slapstick humor influenced, obviously, the direction I took with duty. So, you can always find an influence somewhere if you just follow the cookie crumbs. So this is Duty, uh, First Flush. This actual cover was done by George Medina. Uh, he is currently the co-host on Cast the Craze podcast. If you haven't heard my podcast, you need to go over to Cast the Craze. Uh, you'll see this on my playlists and my subscriptions. You'll see, subscribe to my podcast. Uh, check it out. Great podcast. We interview other creators and we just talk about industry-related um, things. Uh, we don't know necessarily just talk about comic books. So, George actually did the cover, and uh, he also did the coloring and the edits of the, the, the word balloons and everything in this issue. And 
so here, what you see in this scene is Duty preparing to go on a solo mission. And I'll give you um, just, I'll read this first page to you. It's like the moment of truth. Years of vigorous training and extreme preparation have led me to this point. I was hand-picked picked by the top brass. The best of the best is what they say. And now, I'm on a solo mission to determine the likelihood of this insignificant planet being a potential threat. Not a chance. We will take over this world and use its life forms to do our bidding. So, the backstory is Duty's father, it, he's the ruler of the planet Uranus, and the military has the unfortunate responsibility of babysitting the Emperor's son. So to get them, get him out of their hair, they sent him on this wild mission that they think is harmless because Earth does not pose a threat to Uranus. But he thinks it does. Um, two years later, he's like, a funny thing happened to me on my way to invading Earth. <laughs> I am on this re uh, recon mission, which, if you ask me, was a waste of time. I mean, come on, who are we kidding? We are vastly superior in all aspects. We dominate this primitive species in intellect and technology. And yet, here I am on a mission to study their primal culture. I alone have achieved accolades for my outstanding accomplishments. To waste an invaluable resource like myself is... What? Don't tell me I forgot to refuel. Alert, alert, alert. And so duty forgets to refuel. And now he's gonna crash land. Okay, this year, it don't count. Whee! He crashes on Earth. Um, gives you an insight on the fact that uh, this egocentric thinks he knows it of alien is just not prepared for the realities of life, right? Um, this is good. Create the illusion of a disaster and slip in undetected. Fools, ha, this is too easy. And he crashes and he's hanging <laughs> and using some expletives uh, to describe the outcome of him hanging in the trees. Uh, so then we go on to uh, so much for that. Not a problem. And certainly not for a superior mind such as I. So, where do we start? Not like I don't mind hanging around and all. Let's see, I lost my survival pack, all means of communication, I have no food. Yep, I have them right where I want them. Hmm, let me guess, the welcoming committee. Well, I have a surprise for you, mister. You, my friend, are my prisoner. That's right, you didn't expect that one now, did you? Now pay close attention, you inferior primate. You will assist me in getting down and then, and so the woodpecker, Chops him in the head, duty crashes, he cuts the rope, and duty crash lands it. Um, so again, he is in the circumstances beyond his control, but yet he feels he's in control, which is just absurd, but that's duty. Um, so he crash lands, looking up, splunk, and the bird flies off. Tee -hee -tee. All right. All right. <laughs> Now it's my turn. You will feel the wrath of a superior intellect beyond any you have ever in your pathetic life encountered. Doof! And then he gets tackled Poof. by a wolf. So this is basically the where we're going with duty. And there's neither of my tool. This current issue is available as an ebook on Barnes and Nobles and also on Amazon.com. Uh, so. You get the gist. So this is Duty just trying to survive the woods. Um, and so he runs into wolves. He runs into snakes. He falls off a cliff. You know, he's swimming for his life. You know, here's a scene where um, he's in the water. And um, he goes, this is it. My life extinguished by... I don't know what's after me. Heck. That's worse than... um um. Need air! So he's trying to breathe and he goes up to breathe for air. <laughs> I am a genius, a master in the art of combat. Why am I so very afraid? Huh? And he sees this object coming up toward him. And it's a turtle. Very funny, mister. Just want you to know that at no point was I ever afraid of you and your scare tactics. You are lucky I am in a generous mood and willing to overlook this incident. Focus on my words. I will mount you, and you will escort me back to land. Don't look at me like that. Like I said, these Neanderthals don't have a clue. I will rule this planet, and 
all, and you will all serve at my feet. You have watch detail. Understand me, Parasite? I have my eye on you, and he, of course he's exhausted, and the turtle's gone. So he wakes up, the turtle's gone, and there's a wolf sitting there drinking water, and he dips. So, um, runs into a cave, and of course, what's in the cave? A bear. So, and that is, <laughs> that is the, um, the first issue of Duty, and he's got, he got hit so hard by this bear that he's dizzy, and, uh, the end, it ends with to be continued, and he's looking at red ants that are about to attack. Um, so in the second issue is, um, where you have, the title is I See Red People, and it's because of the ants that attack. And, uh, so I've received a lot of critic reviews from this book and Paul Dale Roberts I absolutely love it and Ryan McMillan of Newsarama you will love this fish out of water alien comic so there's the take the duty challenge and there's some um, crossword puzzles here uh, and there's a glossary of terms so he uses you know big words like accolade uh, primate meander extinguish tactics uh, Neanderthal muster attain rejuvenate so uh, we put the definition uh, for the kids that may not know what those words mean. And then alien trivia. Do you know uh, the alien is from the planet Uranus? And then answers, um, what forms of gas is Uranus made of? So you get to answer those questions. Um, and then there's the duty wear. And then um, this was the cover for the Christmas, the special edition of High on Duty from Uranus, where he goes after Santa Claus. So... That's the first issue. Again, it's available on both Amazon and um, Barnes & Noble as an ebook. The hard the physical copies will be available this fall, uh, but right now we're just focusing on ebooks. So duty pretty simple to draw. He's just a ma uh, 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 simple shapes, right? His head is a typical egg, right? And so, uh, big bulging eyes, egg shape, And then I'll go over it in pencil, right? And there were many, many um, iterations of duty. Uh, so like, if I want a surprise look, um, I'll just, I'll go over with pencil so that you can see this clearly. Again, it's simple shapes. Um, you hear the background, but you probably do hear it. It's my dog. My dog. Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? So, simple shapes. Um, skinny neck, right? And, and I'll just do shapes and circles, right, for duty, skinny legs, big feet, And it's like cylinders and and um, people walking outside with a beautiful Alaskan husky outside. Pretty dope. Um,
So when I'm joining duty, it's really not, uh, I traditionally, I prefer cartoony style of drawing. And to add some humor, when duty gets into the house, um, and when, as I go, each episode, I'll cover a different uh, issue of the book. And when he gets in the house, he puts on a tie, um, which he thinks is clothing because he sees himself in a mirror. And he realizes that um, he doesn't have any clothing on. So um, the, the tie makes him feel clothed, right? Uh, if you look at duty from the back, his bum, right? He has a little tail on his bum. A uh, little Audi. So I was lucky, I was fortunate enough when I released, when I first launched Days and Alien My Toilet. I was getting a lot of uh, press. Uh, you'll see that on, if you go to Cast the Craze uh, channel, uh, into the archives, you'll see a lot of old interviews, whether it was on NBC or American Latino TV or uh, an affiliate of Fox, a lot of radio shows that I've done. Um, Duty was getting garnering a lot of attention. Uh, but unfortunately, I left the industry uh, for a while. So, some of the things I've done with Duty because he's such an easy character to draw. Uh, when I first launched the book, I did a lot of variants. Uh, so, let me get the, the blue pencil first. So, here's an, another head, head shape. And what, you, what you'll see is in my variant covers, I did um, versions of mainstream movie covers like I did a Rambo cover where duty is holding two big machine guns and bullets are spraying everywhere I did a matrix cover where he's in the air all in black um, I did a cowboy cover um, and yeah I like the side profile when I'm doing the uh, I do the uh, bedroom eyes or that suspicious eyes so so here is the side angle and I'm sure you can see it there of his head but then what I'll do is So, here's a duty with the uh, hat. It's a beat up hat. He's a rough cowboy. Sharp, sharp shade out that area right there. So it's pretty simple when um, I love having fun with him. He's such a versatile character. Um, so the purpose of the different looks for duty, um, you know, I had a military duty. Um, again, I'll just, if I can do it here, like I can just go and just put on a helmet on, on him. Bailey military. Right. I'm going to put gear on him. Oh, that's not good. 
so <laughs> right so I can just erase that top part right so to add like take out that tie and get him some uh, military gear on I can do that Upset, but he's upset. Um, right? So you get the gist of it. With duty, I can do anything. It's pretty simple to um, add things to this character. I can change if I wanted to uh, give him a serious look. The insight to duty is whenever he gets himself into a no-win situation, a lot of times it's him getting knocked out, uh, he tends to go into this alternate reality where he conjures up himself as a famous military general, um, a samurai warrior, uh, and, and the sneak peek into issue two is where the ants to him become ninja, so he becomes a samurai in his dream. And he, de he defeats them all, but then in reality, he's getting his butt whooped. Uh, and Duty winds up meeting a lot of different characters along the way. One of the characters that uh, really takes uh, a prime position in the series is Herman the Chihuahua. And again, it's just shapes. Thanks to duty is a talking jalapeno. And he's trying to get out because he knows that there's this talking jalapeno in the house. He wants to get at duty. No one, no one's allowing him out of the, um, the cage. And again, if this is just me fleshing, fleshing it out and um, conceptualizing some of the looks. But Herman is, um, he has a Spanish accent, of course. And, uh, I did his voice when I had DutiesWorld.com. Um, I I, initi I shut it down. Right now everything's on I create stories, but when I had DutiesWorld.com, it was everything Duty, and I had voiceovers, and I was doing the voiceovers for du um, Herman. I was doing the voiceovers for Duty. I still have the song bites. I'll play it for you guys one day. Uh, but basically, this is 
how I come up with duty, the looks, the images, the there's a lot of uh, main characters in the book. There's John Doe, Agent John Doe, who's a special agent that's going after finding out um, the location of the downed UFO. And there's a lot of special ops that are on site tracking it down. And he's going after trying to find um, they're rounding up all the animals and interrogating them to try to find Duty's whereabouts to uh, see if there's really an alien that uh, um, is on Earth. Um, so, and it takes off from there because there's also a bunch of different things that happen to the the dad in the house and then um, his uh, co-workers who make fun of him because they think he's a kook. Um, but uh, the trade paperback is not available any longer at least it's not available to me anymore it's out of circulation it was in barnes and nobles and borders and all the stores um we sold every copy that we've um that we had and again it was the black and white edition i will be doing a uh, kickstarter uh so i can get it printed in color um and the entire volumes one and two will be up at the end of the year and available in physical format so this was uh i create stories i'm samuel if you like this episode if you want to know more about duty if you want me to continue doing um each book because currently i have five physical issues complete i will do five episodes uh you let me know if you want me to uh, but I will also be doing Cosmic Wars and Forbidden and uh, Duty's Adventures and my other books as well. So thank you for watching. I have a contest going on. I'd like to see your version of Duty. Can you draw? Do you like to draw? If you like to draw, I have a contest just for you. You got nothing to lose but all the game. Three winners will win great prizes. All submissions will be on the website. All submissions will be on um in the physical book that's going to be printed in the fall and distributed to stores nationally and internationally um so enter to win subscribe to the show let me know if you're interested in entering to win i'll say i'll let you know where to send your submissions to all winners will be decided at the end of the month uh actually june 5th on the cast of craze episode on june 5th we'll announce the winners all you have to do is your rendition of duty you can do it in full color you can do it in 3d you can do it on a computer you can do it paint whatever you want it's on you you can do a whole scene you can do it just individually um but uh we will be judging uh george myself and a few other artists uh that we'll announce we'll be judging the best three and you'll get some really cool prizes so i think it's fun got nothing else to do with your time let's have fun See you later. Thanks for watching.